Hello everyone and welcome to the PMDG Boeing 737-800. I'm Emanuel, I'm a 737 pilot and a member of PMDG's tech team. In today's video we will briefly talk once again about a topic that's already been covered by Robert Randasso himself as well as on my post on the latest update. But I just want to go a little bit more into details because by now I'm allowed to show you my own footage on it. And of course what we're talking about is the window shades. So window shades are now available as an option partially and partially means we have our green window shade which is always available in any of our Boeing 737 NGs. We have one on the left hand side here and another one is stowed in the pocket on the right hand side for the first officer and they are completely independent of one another. You can have one attached with the other detached and so on. Actually in uh, real flights it happens very often when the sun is to the side of the plane so when it's not visible through the, through the uh, main windows that only one pilot is going to be using them because the other pilot will not be affected. So those are one option which is uh, basically all av available at all times on all 737 models. There is a second option which can be triggered through the optional equipment in the FMC. So for that we are going towards PMDG setup, aircraft, equipment and then onto the last page, number 16, where we have the option for window shades. By default in the no position, which they are going to be at for any livery that does not have a custom airline config, your windows are going to look just as normal as you are used to. So if you are loading up a livery and you're wondering why you don't see the attached uh, window shades, then this is the reason. They default to no, so to off, because they are not by default attached to um, the majority of 737 aircraft. You can however switch them on on the optional equipment page number 16 and then you are going to get the uh, fixed installed window shades as well. They're available on the uh, DV1 windows, so the sliding windows, as well as on the number 3 windows here in the back. Unlike, for example, the Airbus A330, the 737 does not have any fixed window shades available for the uh, front windows, so the green one will have to do the job for those. They are simply extendable from the um, mounted positions where they usually rest, and you have four of them available in total in the flight deck, once again operating completely independent of one another. What is very nice about those um, window shades and basically about the complete window shades that we have in the PMDG 737 at all is that PMDG has gotten some very high resolution scans of actual window shades of a real Boeing 737 aircraft, which means that very small details like the scratches on them are actually uh, visible and they look very very realistic I have to say because especially those green window shades over here they are never in a good condition because all the time you get them off then you throw them back into the pocket down here next to your flight bag they maybe scratch along your flight bag they scratch along the um, headsets or just the uh, standard plastic then of course there is equipment stored in here so they get scratched very, very quickly, and that is represented in the versions that you're going to get with the PMG 737. Similarly, for the um, yellow window shades over here, they also feature very realistic um, wear and tear on them. Finally, let's have a look from the outside, because obviously they are not just visible from the inside, but from the outside as well, and this is what it looks like. It really comes down very nicely when you are flying along in cruise level and you have the sun reflecting off those window shades. That makes for a very nice visual effect that I can only recommend you to check out when you're flying in a sunrise or sunset conditions and you have those extended. So that shall conclude the look at the window shades in the PMDG Boeing 737-800. I would like to thank you very much for being with us. Hope that you are going to enjoy the 800 very, very soon. Until then, I would like to thank you very much and I am looking forward to see you all again on the next one. If you do want to support the channel, there is a Buy Me A Coffee link in the video description below. Your donations are very, very much appreciated as they are really what keep the channel running. So for now, 
Thank you very much for your attention, and I hope to see you all again soon.